The homicide investigation is underway in Tahunga tonight after a man was found beaten to death at the scene of a house fire. A person of interest believed to be the victim's son has been taken into custody, but just what happened is unclear. KTLA's Carlos Salcedo joins us live in Tahunga with the latest on the investigation. Carlos. Micah Sherry, good evening. A very bizarre chain of events out here in Tahunga tonight. The scene still very active as you see LAPD's mobile command post out here. We know that responding crews came out to put out a house fire but found a dead body and a naked man tonight. That naked man is a person of interest in custody. This as the investigation is still ongoing. Sky 5 was above the scene as firefighters put out flames that ravaged part of this Tahunga home. It was just before noon that crews were called out to the two-story home on a descending hillside in the 10,200 block of Silverton Avenue. Once there, they made a gruesome discovery. A man's body was in the backyard. He was pronounced dead, but that wasn't the only bizarre encounter that forced them to call police for backup. When they arrived, they saw some smoke. We're trying to determine where the fire was coming from. As they went inside the house and found themselves into the backyard, they saw an individual uh, in the backyard, naked, acting erratic, um, saying unintelligible things. The naked man was treated for smoke inhalation before being taken into custody as a person of interest. The victim had been bludgeoned to death, according to homicide investigators. It appears both men are related. The fire was in the back left side of the property. Investigators are calling it suspicious. The cause of the fire remains under active investigation. We did uh, bring out our arson uh, investigators per protocol who are working very closely with LAPD to comb through the debris, look at the burn patterns, talk to witnesses, and determine exactly what sparked this fatal fire. Neighbors did not want to go on camera but are shocked with the findings. And the coroner took the body just a few hours ago, but we're still waiting for them to identify the victim. This as homicide detectives tell me they're going to be out here for the next several hours. We're live tonight in Tahunga, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News.